Cybers! The term was coined circa 2009 by Riot Games to distance their flagship title League of Legends from the game Dota, or Defense of the Ancients. MOBAs generally uh, involve two teams of three to five players and a host of minions with unquestionable loyalty trying to break through each other's defences and destroy the shiny MacGuffin. The genre has gained immense popularity recently, with Riot Games claiming that their game League of Legends has a user base of twice the size of the population of the Netherlands. The latest company to jump on the MOBA bandwagon is Ronimo Games, with their offering... Released in May 2012 on Xbox Live Arcade, and later on the PC gaming platform Steam, Awesome Noughts is a self-aware 2D take on the MOBA game style. It combines elements of Mega Man with the goals of League of Legends and a sprinkling of Smash Brothers for good measure. Shoot and kill the bad thing! Oh, it's a computer game! Oh. I, think, I think you have to sort of win the level. I think that's how you oh, boys win. shut up! Awesome Noughts seems like it's going to be on the receiving end of new content periodically, like the recently released Cogmore, I mean, Zyra, I mean, Noor, whatever his name is, this guy. <laughs> awesome Noughts hasn't really been out long enough to see whether Ronimo Games are really dedicated to their game, and to see if they will actually keep up with the updates. I mean, they could do an EA on us. But uh, what I received on release was polished and charming. Maybe I'm a bit spoiled by League of Legends, with its roster of over 100 champions to choose from. But uh, Awesome Noughts roster of about 10 characters seemed a bit meagre in comparison. Still, I guess it's much better to have 10 well-designed champions than to render your game completely unbalanceable by releasing about a champion every week. Right, Riot Freak? I'm gonna kill this thing, look. Oh, he killed me oh, before I could kill it! Oh, I don't wanna be a backseat gamer here, but, um... Uh, just, 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 just... No fuss is made when it comes to jumping into a game. You just go straight to the title screen, click Join Game, and within a few seconds you're in the Character Select screen. And uh, this actually solves somewhat the problem of people leaving mid-game, because you can actually jump straight into a slot in a game in progress. However, if someone does leave, you'll get a bot joining in the slot instead. And they're actually pretty good. In fact, Clunkbot is better than most real players I've seen. My big man is eating everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny about that. The actual roster of characters itself is incredibly unique and charming, with uh, characters such as the Austrian brain in a jar, and uh, a jazz singing frog called Froggy G, and my personal favourite, Lior the French Chameleon. Each character has their own set of abilities, their own set of stats, and best of all, their own unique personal theme tunes. And if you go on a killing spree like I often do, their own killing spree tune kicks in, which makes you feel badass. The soundtrack to this game is absolutely fantastic. It's got a little bit of a techno chip tune theme going on. I could just imagine it being played in a club. Anyway, the main problem with online games is the actual other human beings, and in no game is this more apparent than fellow MOBA League of Legends. While you do occasionally find decent people on the internet, the League of Legends user base is mostly made up of children, people with anger management problems, and good old fashioned stone cold arseholes. <laughs> So how does the Awesome Noughts community fare? Pretty good actually, They're not too bad. In fact, I get the feeling they don't seem to take the game as seriously at all, which is a good thing. In fact, I'm actually probably the worst behaved player out of anyone I've seen on that game. The characters, the graphics and the music are all so charming, and the combat flows so well, it makes for an engrossing and addictive experience. EAT ME! It's got the obligatory RPG style levelling up system, but it doesn't play too big a part in this game. It unlocks uh, practice maps, which are all fairly similar, and it also unlocks new upgrades to buy in-game. And um, the levels are spaced out evenly apart, so it doesn't feel like too much of a grind, which is a shame if you're a RuneScape player and fantastic if you're literally anyone else. Uh, I sure as hell picked the wrong day to stop playing Awesome Knots. 
to the accent. He's Randy Quaid, but he's given up drinking. Another problem in online games is the death counter, a flow-breaking necessity. But in this game, they've given you a little rocket mini-game. It's not without its flaws, though. With one game mode, it gets a bit samey, and surprisingly, they don't seem to have made much effort with the support characters. Being an Austrian brain in a jar is a thankless and boring experience. If you choose Voltar, expect to float around, throwing out heels and hiding from Leon Chameleon. I guess that was all for... Nought. Oh, okay. There we go. Terrible. Another problem is the wall of entry. If you're a new player, or new to this type of genre, don't expect to be any good at it at the start. A lot of my friends had a lot of trouble getting to grips with it in the first place. I have no idea what I'm doing. For its price though, it's a fun little throwaway experience and an entirely serviceable game. So if I was to give it a mark out of 10, with 10 being Half-Life, 1 being RuneScape, and 5 being Plants and Zombies or something, I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10! Play us out, Leon Chameleon. I mean, okay. uh -huh.